know your place, worm. Prepare yourself. Damn Saiyan. If Frieza had attacked the universe six Saiyans as Frieza's first episode or first uh, solo episode, that would have been a lot better than what we got with episode 108, Frieza and Frost conjoined malice. So if you are sensitive when it comes to hearing negativity about Dragon Ball Super, I'd probably end the video right here because I did not like episode 108. It was, in my opinion, a waste of an episode. It didn't make much sense. The last episode was a lot better, episode 107, where Frost attacks Master Roshi. It's sad to say that the Master Roshi episode is a lot better than the Frieza and Gohan fighting episode because there is so much wrong with this episode in my opinion. First, let's go ahead and say one positive thing about the episode. The number one positive thing about the episode, spoilers if you haven't seen it yet, but Frost gets erased in this episode for trying to attack somebody from outside the arena. I did not see that shit coming at all. I thought that he was going to be on the stands looking all sour, looking like a failure like he has always been throughout Dragon Ball Super at this point. Everything besides that, for the most part, was negative in my opinion. Now I'm going to go ahead and go into some of the stuff that I did not like about this episode. First of all, the art style and the fight scenes were extremely bland. It looked like they cut the budget on the fight scenes. Maybe they're saving it up for the Jiren fight uh, that's coming up here in a few weeks. And so it just seemed very stale and stiff and a lot of scenes that looked like there were stills taken that were clipped together to show a fighting a fighting scene they are they also reused a lot of the older footage which you guys know i'm already not a fan of but if it's done in a proper way then maybe i'll be into it but this time it was just blatantly taken from the much better frieza solo episodes before the torment of power so i did not like that at all the fact that gohan can't take on a yard Drat is also really really upsetting seeing as how uh, a lot of people will scream to the top of the rooftops that Gohan is a lot stronger now that he can defeat 17 the Yardra has superior speed I understand that part but yeah he was just tearing him apart and Gohan should have been a lot better at defeating him especially how Frieza just completely pummeled this Yardra so efficiently that it was it made Gohan look like a total waste of space in my opinion but hopefully Gohan gets some better screen time later down the line in this tournament but as of now he really is still the same old Gohan that I really am tired of seeing honestly in my opinion the fact that G Frieza was just standing in front of Gohan for like the longest time and everybody just jumped to conclusions like out of nowhere like everybody in the in the audience up there in the stands the rest of the, the fighters and, and and Beerus and Whis they were all jumping to conclusions that Frieza was going to uh, betray Gohan for some reason and I understand the reason they would jump to conclusions seeing as how you know Frieza has the worst track record ever when it comes to being a somebody you can depend on or even a good guy he doesn't have a track record of that at all but he was just standing there. He literally was just standing there monologuing. And we've seen Frieza do this a lot of times, but it did not really mean that he was going to at all. Like it didn't indicate that he would go he's going to betray Gohan in any way. I want to give a quick shout out to Adrian Estrada on my a never before seen key video I just made. He comments, been watching your videos since you had 2K-ish subs and I now just barely sub my dudes keep up the great content hashtag row to 10k right 10k seems pretty close so hopefully I get there uh, be by the end of the year I would I would hope but if not I'm hoping that at least by the beginning of next year so thanks again for your comment also the logic that Frieza would kill or ring out Gohan to sort of be the last fighter standing on the stage to to get the um the the wish it just didn't make much sense to me i understand the fact that he's got to take out these fighters because he wants to be the last one standing and gohan may be a threat but the fact that ki killing well first of all killing disqualifies you and i'm pretty sure in the episode they said oh if he kills gohan then he can get this wish and then with this wish he can erase anybody that gets in his way and then beerus goes does that mean me so if he killed anybody that'd be it he'd be disqualified he would be go back in the benches or maybe even worse the omni king would just erase him right then and there but 
it, without going into killing, if you just wrung him out, you're basically making it so the chances of your universe winning are lower. So you have a better chance of getting erased if that happens. So the, that logic, I feel like it was extremely forced. I feel like this whole episode was extremely forced, trying to push the, the narrative that Frieza was team, had teamed up with Frost to somehow try to, you know, Get, become the last one to get a wish and and and, and you know betray his universe and it, it was just a concept that was done better with frieza trying to join universe 9 they should have at least they, they could have at least shoehorned that in that oh i'll join universe 6 if you guys you know let me let me do that in the tournament and and, and i'll ring out gohan for you or something like that i can't even think of it because it makes no sense this episode seemed like a waste of time in my opinion an entire waste of time and even at one point they start hinting at the fact that frost can get into different forms frost may have a golden freezer styled form and then even freeze is like it may not be gold and remember Frieza chose gold to mimic the Saiyan, so it could, he could have had a much cooler transformation. I thought that's what they're hinting at. That's the reason that I was kind of like in awe that they erased him right then and there because he just gets erased. So now we don't even know if he would get a transformation. We don't, we won't see somebody else from the from the Frieza race at all. So it, it just it just seemed like you built something up to to, to delete it, and it, it didn't make any sense at all to me. Honestly, I was hoping for this fight, this episode, to be a Goku versus Ribrian fight. In my opinion. Uh, for a good majority of the episode, at least cutting back to it, but we only got that in the very beginning. To give this episode a compliment sandwich to finish off with something good in the episode, at one point we start talking about Frieza making a wish to kill a god, and I had never thought of that. So this episode did make me think of, because I was thinking, what could Frieza wish for? Oh, resurrection. Well, he can get resurrected with normal Dragon Balls. These are Super Dragon Balls. What can Super Dragon Balls do for him? And so I never even thought about it. I mean, it, what is the limit of the power for the Super Dragon Balls? Could he wish himself to be a god? Could he wish himself to be higher and the lord of the Omni Kings, maybe? It really kind of gave me a thought of where this might go, what Frieza might do, what his evil scheme might be. But then it ruined it with everything else that was kind of shoehorned in here and shoved down my throat. And it was just, it's just not a good episode in my opinion really disliked it but hey at least the next episode looks really good we see more of goku fighting ribrian which i like and then we see goku fighting jiren with in super saiyan blue and we see a lot more action going on there which we haven't seen yet and then we see what looks like goku shooting a spirit bomb at jiren which i don't know how that's gonna work but we'll see anyway guys let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this episode drop me a like if you like my video and it's gonna be dragon ball black signing off